fantastic, exciting PSA pop um, report in terms of what PSA knocked out this week. Uh, we've booked it up. We're going to do it weekly and look into for the, each of the Watsy sets, which hollows have uh, graded as a PSA 10 that week and what PSA 10s have been graded from each set each week. And then uh, how many of the actual set have been graded that week. So let's jump straight into it. You can see right there, right out of the gate, um, base set has gone from 396 up to 402, which is 6,000 cards they did this week for base set. Um, of that, <clears throat> we don't have a weekly number yet. This is the first week we're going to start doing it from Sundays, um, Sunday nights with this coming out on Monday morning. So um, 74,000 is the current pop uh, report for PSA 10s in base set. So the second and third boxes from each of these categories are going to be a little tricky for each set. Um, but you can see out of the PSA 10s right now in base set, 7,500. So almost exactly 10% of the PSA 10s are hollow PSA 10s, which is obviously the the big hit big hitters where the where the money maker is so um i also created a column here for the increase in population so going from um that to that at six thousand was a 1.54 percent increase so one and a half percent increase um in population just general population for psn 10 hollows um it was um this is an increase but this is how many of the population are PSA 10 hollow uh, as a percentage? This number here, uh, sorry, this number here expressed as a, a percentage basically. So a little under 2% of the population graded with PSA are graded 10 as a hollow. So fairly low number, I would think, for uh, what, the, what the main money really is, what you want to get. Um, I would imagine PSA 9 is probably significantly higher and 8 a big chunk too but jumping into jungle uh they went from 107 to 110 um that came in at 3000 cards and a, a three percent increase um this past week and they are sitting at around 21,000 psa 10s um and about two and a half thousand psa 10 hollows now that's uh, a, a pretty similar to base set 10 percent almost you know maybe a little over Jumping down to fossil, um, we had you know another similar two percent increase. But when we're looking at the PSA 10 hollow range, pretty significant difference between the PSA 10s and the PSA 10 hollows. And when we look at the percentage of uh, PSA 10 hollow to general population, it's four and a half percent. It's over double base set. So maybe slightly easier to get a 10 in fossil compared to base set. Um, maybe it's the better quality cards were sent in, um, you know, maybe pre-graded by people themselves, um, base set, people just throwing anything they can, who knows, um, there's definitely questions to be asked there, but it's interesting, uh, 708 cards were graded this week by PSA 10, uh, by PSA for base set 2, um, and they're sitting at just 822 PSA 10 hollows so it's pretty low pop uh, in terms of the hollow population there at a 10. Moving into rocket we have um, a, a two and a half percent increase there in population but when we're looking at the uh, hollows I did pull English only because there was some German mixed in with the numbers I pulled out the English only for the PSA 10 hollow and five and a half percent of the graded cards are PSA 10 hollows which you know is is pretty large and substantial com compared to base set and, and jungle up here. Um, when we're looking over into Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge, huge rises. I mean, they're not getting a lot of cards graded. They don't have a huge population, but the, the percentage of PSA 10 hollow to general population there that's graded, huge. You know, when, when you're talking about... Uh, a population of only 48,000 cards graded and f over 5,000 of those are PCA 10 and hollow 
that, that says to me that, that was a much easier set to grade than the earlier sets, um, which is fantastic. If you own Dream Heroes and Dream Challenge, you want to get a 10, you, you know, you could possibly be more likely to, but also might be part of the reason why some of those uh, cards don't get too crazy high in comparison to, to base set. Moving into second gen, um, we've got uh, Neo Genesis um, and Discovery. Again, we've, we've discussed before their populations are fairly low, pretty low um, in comparison to the to the first gen cards in terms of the increase, just 240 and um, 669, you know, pretty low um, cards getting graded. When we're talking again about uh, PSA 10 hollows though, slightly, slightly higher, um, 6.5% here for the uh, Discovery set pulled out just English only and six and a half percent of the cards graded are, are 10 hollows. Moving into uh, Neo Revelation, uh, we are at 24,000 um, for graded cards. And again, not a huge number, um, pretty low uh, uh, rise in population, not a huge number getting sent in for Revelation and Destiny. They're already low pops. Same for Legendary Collection, I mean, going down they're all pretty comparable what I do see is when we jump to Aquapolis here we only have 18,000 uh, only 121 graded uh, this week um, very low in terms of how many got sent in and actually graded but when we look at the PSA 10 hollow population fantastically big 11% and then going into Skyridge 13% of graded Skyridge cards are PSA 10 hollow. That is a massive number. I did not expect the numbers to be that high for that. Coming into um, the totals, so population increase, basically every Watsy card graded this week for Pokemon was 19,000 cards purely from PSA graded Watsy um, Pokemon cards, which it's a, that's a fair few cards you know there's obviously a, a couple of people there employed purely to be doing that it seems you know when we're talking about those kind of numbers um as an increase population 1.8 that seems to be f fairly fairly in the middle there when we're looking through there's nothing that jumps out too crazy high or low um aquapolis is a you know a, a fairly low one neil destiny is a fairly low one but the other ones are you know, where I would probably want it to be, 1-2%. Um, the PSA 10 hollow um, percentage, 4% of all graded Watsy cards with Pokemon are PSA 10 hollows. So I'm kind of buffering that as being baseline for anything below is, is a low PSA 10 pop and anything above is a high PSA 10 pop, um, which would put a couple of them, Neo Revelation, um, Neo Genesis and Base 2 with Jungle and Base, um, they all seem to be fairly low. Um, and then we've got Legendary Collection, which at just 1.19% are PSA 10 hollow. I, th I think there's a, a lot of interest in the reverse hollow for that set, so that might be part of it. But definitely different numbers between each set. There's obviously a lot of data to go through there, um, but yeah interesting to look at let me know what you guys think in the comments we have this uh that way we have this uh video right here where you can go back and comment uh watch the video make a comment and be entered to win the charizard giveaway when we hit 100 subscribers so let's keep that moving let me know what you think of the video in the comments hit the like hit subscribe thanks guys